All right, here's my first look at AOKP. This is their Jelly Bean. This is build one that they've officially released on their website, AOKP.co. This is just a startup process. For that, uh, you have the options of launcher or no launcher. This is Trebuchet. Um, I always use Apex launcher, but it's just your uh, preference. And as soon as you start it up, right off the bat, it looks the same as CyanogenMod, mod, but this is built from source. So you should remember, this is bu actually built from source. This isn't built off CyanogenMod mod anymore. They've officially built Jelly Bean off of source. Um, un unlike Cyanogen mod, they it this comes with Super Su instead of Super User. I prefer Super User, but let's go into settings. Let's go to about phone. You you do have AOKP statistics. You can turn that on or off. You have hardware info. Um, it's not showing up yet, but as you can see, this is the Galaxy Nexus. This is the GSM version. Um, Android 4.1.1. They're using the FA123 kernel that I've always used on my sensation. So I, I already know his kernels are awesome. And this is AOKP underscore Maguro underscore JB dash build dash one. So this is their build one at Jelly Bean. Their official build, not like the nightlies that they've had. Um, you get the standard Jelly Bean um, settings, except for now you have ROM control, themes, and device options. So this looks like the it, like the tab advanced in um, Sign Engine mod. But you can actually mess with this. I don't know what it does. Like it messes with how your phone vibrates. So I'm not really gonna mess with it because I don't want to mess up my phone. But you won't really mess up your phone. But I just don't know what I'm doing. So, <laughs> so I'll just put that out there. And uh, you you do get theme chooser. And then ROM control, which if you, if you remember like the first nightly that they uh, released. It had, I think, like two options. <laughs> They've come a long way so far. Under features, it says you will see, but not limited to, notification toggles, lock screen tweaks, navigation bar modifications, custom kernel performance options, LED colors, notification wallpapers, phone ringer modifications, where you can flip, call to silent, stuff like that, and then plus more. So you can actually have a wallpaper in your uh, status bar, which I think is pretty cool. So you can show notification account. So if, if you have more than one Gmail, it'll show the little Gmail icon. But it will, it will also have like a number two or three next to it. And you can turn off the boot animation. You can choose a notification background. And then you can change the transparency of it. And then you can also change the label. So it says enter a new label. So if I wanted it to say maybe Brandon's. Brandon's Nexus. I hit OK. And as you can see now, it says Brandon's Nexus, which I think is awesome. Go back. Um, this doesn't have the custom targets yet. They say that's supposed to be coming soon. Um, you, you can also have a custom wallpaper on the lock screen. So you can have a, three wallpapers in your status bar on the lock screen and on the uh, home screen. You can choose the color of the lock screen. You can choose the battery percentage. So if you want that, you can wait to lock screen. You can use the volume keys on the side to wake it up. And you can use quick pin unlock. Let's go to navigation bar, which is the little bar at the bottom of the back, home and recents. You can change the quantity. So if you wanted four, just hit four. Then you would go down here. I usually have where this is recents, and then I usually have this back, and I usually have this as menu. And then when I long press on menu, I have it locked my screen, that way I don't have to hit the power button. Because I have that PGM Nexus where you slide from left to right to wake up the screen. And since I have menu down there, I don't need menu at all, so I can just remove it. And then, there we go. You can change the height, the glow animation, stuff like that. Let's go back. Let's go to battery. You can change the icon. I This circle mod has kind of grown on me a little bit. 
you bring this in, zoom, there you go, you see the cir circle mod. Um, the circle mod's kind of growing on me a lot. I didn't really like it at first, I just liked the, like the little icon with center text in it. I thought that looked pretty awesome. There's a little text in there, I don't know if you can see it. It's kind of bright. Sorry for that. It's kind of bright. Um, you can have the battery icon and notifications. So if you pull this down, you notice in the top right there's nothing there. If you click this, top right there's a battery. I'm going to go back to circle mod though. This is going to be my daily driver until I used to change change ROMs on the weekend because I have school. So you can have the like the oops, the battery bar going across if you wanted to. I don't know why it's showing up green in the camera. It's really not. Um, go to clock. You, this is where you can have the center clock, have small clock, and then have small weekday. That's like my favorite feature. I, I like having the clock with the day. Um, and also you see under AM PM is Pro Tech clock, where it's just nine nine nine. Just go to AM PM style. Go back to small. <laughs> I keep hitting that thing against the back button. Alright, and then you can go to toggles. You can choose the en enable toggles. So if you wanted to change the toggles that are, like are enabled, you just click this. So for me, I don't really use Bluetooth at all. So I, I uncheck Bluetooth, and if I have vibrate checked, I don't need that. And data, torch is my favorite option. And then uncheck swagger. There you go. And then click close. You you can also change the order. So if you want that up there by Wi-Fi, um, you can choose the toggle style. Where if you wanted the icon only, or if you wanted text only, I kind of like the icon. And then you can also change it to these. Where it shows on and off. I don't know why it's so bright. I'm gonna go back real quick. Let's go to display. Let's go to brightness and let's crank this down a little bit. There we go. Now let's go back into ROM control toggles. And you can change the toggle text color, the indicator color, the indicator color when it's off. Like you can have change the backgrounds. There we go. Brightness control. So you can have this. This is new. See how you can have change the brightness straight from the uh, status bar. It used to be where like you just kind of slide your finger across it. I'm gonna put on top because I like it on top. And then I'm gonna change the toggle styles back to oops these ones. There we go. Actually, I'm going to dim the brightness a little bit. And let's go back. You also can change the LED options for custom. Like. Apps. So if you wanted to change it for an app. You could. Uh, just click app. And then you can choose. Just go to application. Say you wanted. For Gmail. Like you wanted it red. Well, you could just like change like it for that custom app, which I think is pretty cool. And if you tap up there, you can change the color. Oops, gonna go back, and then you can test LED. Now testing LED for default. Please turn off your screen to see the LED. Don't hit OK on this pop-up till you're done viewing the LED color. And as you can see, it blinks. I think every nine seconds. It's just a default. LED. So if you wanted to blink every 0.2 seconds, I'll show you that. But, and then it just keeps blinking. I'm going to change that to about every 5 seconds. Alright, let's go back. Let's go to sound. What's the name of if, the volume panel? See how when you press volume up, there's no settings key next to it? 
Wait for this to go away. Now, if you click that and you hit it now, you have this little settings where you can change the volume for more than just like the uh, call. Less frequent notification sounds when headphones plugged in. It'd be nice if it was like set to like launch music, something like that. Um, Bluetooth connection, phone call, call silence. I'll put that as enabled. Face down audio. I'm gonna put it on. Is this for just just to call? Uh, that I'm not gonna. Phone call silence. I'm gonna enable that though. Let's go back. Let's go to weather. What's the name of the weather? Let's show location. Metric. Um, this comes click by default in CyanogenMon, and some people don't know that that means it'll be in Celsius. If you un if you just just uncheck it, and it'll be in Fahrenheit, because I know some people like me don't know how to read it in Celsius. For the refresh, I'm gonna choose every four hours, cause it's not important if it like get weather. It, it's not really important if the weather keeps updated for me. Under performance settings, just grant it super user permissions. You can change go all the way up to, I believe, 1800. I'm just going to go back to default 1200 because that's, that's plenty fast enough unless you're playing a game or so. Go over, you can change your voltage settings. Then you have other settings. What kind of governors. So this only comes with four governors. but And then an IO scheduler. I don't really know what that is. If you know what that is, kind of help me out a little bit. And let's go back. See what kind of custom swag papers. Retrieving wallpapers from server. This may be an issue because you can see I'm on G right now. So they have some pretty nice wallpapers though. I'm just gonna like show you guys a few of them. There was another ROM that I remember doing it like this too. I think it was um, JB Sorcery, maybe. I don't, I don't, I don't remember. It may have been. I'm not sure how many wallpapers they have. So you can, if you go up here to choose category, you can go to AOKP. Or you can just go to other settings. I'm just gonna go back. I'm just gonna go to wallpapers from the default launcher. I prefer this. This is a nice looking wallpaper. Alright, I'm going to show you guys how to install this now. So hit reboot, hit recovery. Oh, sorry about that. This is going to be my daily driver, like I said. So I'll, if you guys want to know about battery life, stuff like that, just let me know. Alright, you're going to go to Wipe Data Factory Reset. You're going to go to Yes, Delete All User Data. You're going to go to Wipe Cache Partition. You're going to go to Yes, Wipe Cache. You're going to go to Advanced. You're going to go to Wipe Dalvik Cache. And you're going to click Yes. Then you're going to go back. You're going to go to Install Zip. Choose Zip. I put my ROM in the download folder. And you're going to find AOKP... Go up another one. AOKP Maguro JB Build 1.zip. And then you're just going to install that. And then you're going to go back to choose zip. Download, and you're going to find the G apps for Jelly Bean 726. And you're just going to install those too. It's going to go back. And then you're just going to reboot to system. And they still have the, uh, the boot animation from. Uh, build milestone six and build forty, but it's mostly milestone six. So just like the um, sign engine mod, their builds are only running out to a few devices. Also, it's the GSM Galaxy. Well, as of now, because they still have to like up upload the uh, builds. So as of right now, it's for the GSM Galaxy Nexus. Nexus 7, Nexus S, the T-Mobile Galaxy S3, the T-Mobile Galaxy S2, Galaxy Tab 2 7 inch, Galaxy Tab 2 10 inch. I think it was 10.1 inches actually, but um, but that's just like the builds as of now. 
they're still uploading so make sure you check the site because they're still uploading so it's just going in alphabetical order but that was my look at AOKP um, their Jelly Bean Build 1 on the GSM Galaxy Nexus.